Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel again. Well, uh, as we all know, right, when we're charging our batteries up, we should put them in some sort of uh, LiPo charge bag. You know what I mean? These friggin' fireys proof bags while you're charging your battery. Just in case, because uh, you should always keep an eye on your batteries when you're charging them. Just in case the base there's a fire. I mean, okay, the chances are very, very slim, but it can happen and it has happened. Not to me, but it has happened. And you should always keep an eye on them. And the worst thing you need is when you're charging your battery, someone comes to the door or you need to go to the loop, right? Something like that. And you put them in these charge charge charging cases and just hope there's no problems. However, there is that uh, nice big charge box that Hobby King's got out. I'll put a couple of pictures up, right? Where, as you see, it, it's a box and you, it's all fireproof and everything. You put your batteries in it while they're getting charged up, and it, it's look bloody good. I've seen a few people using them on YouTube and stuff like that. And yeah, it's for safety. If there ever is a fire, you'd basically unplug from your charger, and carry the thing outside, or whatever but uh it 40 quid and when i was looking at it i thought let's be honest here it, it's a fireproof box and it's 40 quid and i thought that way too expensive even though it is well made and it's got a nice little pattern on it and stuff like that i thought we can do better than that well i have all right i've got your fireproof box homemade one for less than 15 pound okay so uh I've done a sort of like jump shot video of how I, I made it and then you'll see the full thing at the end. All right, so if you're not interested in watching the video just jump to the last uh, couple of minutes of the video now and you'll see the thing. All right, but if you want to know how to make one, keep watching. Okay then, uh, enjoy the video and roll VT. Right, I'm just jumping there. At this point, what I've done is I've got some adhesive spray. 
sprayed all the inside right, and stuck that material down right, and I'm just, you could use any type of glue, you can use super glue if you want like that, I don't think it'll make any difference but I'm um, just going to leave it overnight just to stick solid and uh, then move on to the next bit which is like putting uh, ventilation holes in and holes for the cables and stuff like that but uh, yeah I've just left it stuck down at the moment as you can see yeah it's just gonna leave it there overnight to dry and then uh, I'll tidy it all up and start putting holes and stuff like that and uh, starting to put the finishing touches off these uh, blankets I'll tell you right now these fireproof blankets and stuff right they're great but as you saw there's a bit of mess you have to take your time and it's going to be a messy job but uh, you'll get there in the end okay then right another jump shot right now right then we're back it's been 24 hours uh, as you see I've trimmed the edges down it's not super neat but let's be honest this is like a tool it's not an exhibition product it's a tool to do a job uh, yeah, I trim the edges down and as you saw earlier the edges flake away a lot so what I did was I got some PVA glue I right, literally just smeared it all around all the edges and now they've gone quite hard and the bits are flopping off and trimmed it all down and uh, it locks up and shuts up fine and everything so I'm happy so all I need to do now is get some holes in it to run me cables through for my light bars which I will do now uh, I'll tell you what I'll put big holes in run, I was going to put separate holes for separate cables but I'll put a big hole in and run uh, the cables through each one all right Obviously use any drill bit you want, I'm just using what I've got. Right, that's not going to work unfortunately. So Well, that was lucky because I was worried that we're going to get a sharp edge there, but uh, no, it's, it's gone quite smooth actually. I've even got all files ready to file the edges down, but no, it's gone quite smooth, so I was lucky. Just get rid of that excess bit. Yeah, I'll say this now, as you can see, right? don't do this in the living room, right? or your wife or your husband will kill you. <laughs> it's a hell of a messy job. But yeah, that's basically it then, isn't it? I'll run the cables through, right? so the battery will be inside, or batteries, right? Cables will run out the back and uh, plug straight into uh, your charger. And basically, 
and I mean, uh, look, I'll tell you what I will do, I've got a bit of this uh, spare, I'll just put an extra little layer down at the bottom, it's just a fireproof blanket, just put an extra little layer at the bottom, just to uh, give it a little, little bit more protection. But no, that, that's the job done, and I mean, let's be honest, it, it's a tool for an emergency. It's a case of, I'll have my batteries in there, right, you can have this locked up. Right, I could stick a couple more air rolls in the back or even on the top, but I don't really think it's a necessity because the air will come out. Right, because it's not an airtight seal, any lot at this price. And if by any chance of an emergency, all I have to do is turn my charger off, pull the wires, pick it up, to take it straight outside. Because let's be honest, that's what these things are really for, an emergency. It's not to completely seal the fire in so you wait until the fire goes out, so you can get the fire outside as quickly and as safely as possible. So, there you go then. All I have to do now is put the cables in and, uh, well, I'll show you the finished product. I'll uh, whack it on the charger, show you it all wired up and everything so you can see it. But, hell of a lot cheaper, easy to make. You could make it in a smaller box, so it'll be even cheaper. But, uh, it costs next to now when you think how much the, uh, the big ones, them uh, boxes from Hobby King are, like nearly 40 quid. And this has cost less than £15. So, you just cap on, it does the trick. Right. So, there you go then. Have a quick look at it all uh, wired up and uh, on the charger. Well, there you go then, pilots and ground crew, where uh, it works, right, it's safe. If there ever is a fire, just pull the cables out, as I said, carry the thing outside, chuck it in the garden. But, uh, well, place it in the garden. But yeah, less than £15. Right, the box itself cost me £10, and the fire blanket was, uh, I think it was £3.75 p off eBay. Right, it was on special offer from £4.99, but... Even if I paid full price, it'd still be less than 15 quid. But yeah, them fire blankets, you can get them all over the place. Right, you'll get them in your local shops, DIY shops and everything. Pound shops even probably sell them. But uh, th that box I got from uh, not a pound shop, like a pound stretcher shop. right? And it, it was 10 quid, well I think it was about £9.90 or something like that. Something silly. Uh, so it was say 10 quid. And uh, yeah all put together, got the old metal outside, everything on the inside as you just seen, and it works. Right? And if there ever was a fire, obviously I hope I never have to test it, right? but uh, if there ever was a fire, I'd, be, I'd feel quite comfortable to pick the thing up and just carry it outside quickly. Yeah, you're still going to get the smoke from the, uh, the LiPo battery, right? but there's going to be no way it'll set fire to anything. <coughs> excuse me, set fire, <coughs> set fire to anything, or uh, burn your hands or anything. But obviously this, and this is like a disclaimer, so I hope you've stuck around for it. Right? If you make one of these and your house burns down, it's your own bloody fault. Right? I'm taking no responsibility if you want to make one and something goes wrong. Right? I'm not saying it's 100%, I'm saying it seems to work for me and it should work right in case of a fire as in a lipo battery bursting there's no reason why it shouldn't all right but like i said you're still going to get the gases and the smoke so you don't want to be putting your batteries on overcharge overnight while you're in bed right quick little safety warning when you're charging batteries Ideally, you always want to be in exactly the same room as your charger when you're charging, right? And if you have to leave the room for any reason, right, 
always make sure at the very very least your batteries are in a lipo safe bag right if you do have to run to the loo or some or answer the door uh, if you're going to be doing something a little bit longer, like cutting the grass, turn your charger off, do it later. Uh, it's always better safe than sorry. There has been people, uh, oh, one guy, uh, I believe it was Rotoraya who mentioned it first. It was somebody connected to Rotoraya or a friend of a friend of Rotoraya. I uh, could be wrong, but their, their house bent down. They actually lost the bleddick house from a lipo exploding and a fire while charging because it can happen right? and there has been incidents of them bursting right? as we all know anyway uh, better safe than sorry so always keep a, keep an eye on your batteries but this is so much so that if there is an emergency you can just pick it up real easy take it outside and you've got no worries right? because it's always best to use something rather than just plug your lipo in and I am guilty of that I am I've, I've charged hundreds of batteries where I forgot, well I haven't forgot, but just haven't been bothered to put them in the, like a lipo bag or something like that. I thought, oh, no. I'm only charging two batteries, so you, uh, just two. And then a few weeks later you think, well, I'm only charging four batteries. You know what I mean? A lot of the time, most of the time, most of the time I put them in one of these, right? I've got loads of these bloody things now, though. but most of the time I put them in one of these, but occasionally even though it's been a lot, I haven't. But something like this I know I'll always use because I'm going to leave my charging cables inside it. So it's just a case of opening it up, plug straight into my charger and I'm off, as you just saw. Okay then, uh, Pilots and Ground Crew, hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm not going to leave links because you can pick up a box anywhere and you can pick up a fire bl blanket anywhere. So... Uh, Sort that one out yourself. <laughs> okay then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and cheers.